Vanessa, thank you for that. And we're seeing the same feelings here at St. Brendan's Catholic Church where the public uh, is coming, has come since 5 o'clock this afternoon. This church will stay open until 11 o'clock tonight so the public can come and pay their respects to her, Jose Fernandez. But before the funeral procession arrived here, it stopped at a very special place for South Florida's Cuban community. It's the Shrine to Our Lady of Charity, or as it's called in Spanish, La Ermita de la Caridad. It's in a Coconut Grove, right on the shores of Biscayne Bay. And CBS 4's Maribel Rodriguez is live there. Maribel, such a beautiful and serene place, uh, but such a sad occasion that brought everybody there today. It sure was, Elliot. It was a very emotional day here at La Ermita de la Caridad, the Shrine of Our Lady of Charity. Um, it's a place with so much meaning to the Cuban community. Jose Fernandez's family has been here a number of times to pray and to give thanks. And that is why they wanted to bring him here today for a special blessing. A heartbroken mother and grandmother accompany the body of their son and grandson, Jose Fernandez, for a special blessing. A moving and touching ceremony at La Ermita de la Caridad, the Shrine of Our Lady of Charity, a symbolic and special place for the Cuban community. They're saying goodbye here on a place uh, that, that has the hopes, the tears, uh, the the ideas of thousands of thousands of Cubans that have fled the island. And it was at the Shrine of Our Lady of Charity where Jose's body, surrounded by his family, friends, and fans, was brought for a final goodbye. <laughs> Father Juan Ruming Dominguez asked the Lord for Jose's eternal life, blessing him with holy water. He also gave the family words of peace. It was a very emotional uh, moment, a very difficult time for all of us, especially for the family. That's why we are praying, praying, asking God faith and hope for them and for all in our community. A community mourning with Jose Fernandez's family who placed a jersey and kissed his casket before leaving their place of peace. Very, very sad, but as Elliot mentioned, also very serene. The outpouring of love and support was really overwhelming. And they also did pray for Eddie Rivero and Emilio Macias, Jose's two friends that died with him that day. We're live in Coconut Grove, Maribel Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.